The American alligator. The American alligator, sometimes referred to colloquially as a gator or common alligator, is a large crocodilian reptile endemic to the southeastern United States. It is one of two extant species in the genus Alligator within the family Alligatoridae. It is larger than the only other living alligator species, the Chinese alligator. Adult male American alligators measure 3.4 to 4.6 meters in length, and can weigh up to 453 kg. Females are smaller, measuring 2.6 to 3 meters in length. The American alligator inhabits freshwater wetlands, such as marshes and cypress swamps from Texas to southeastern and coastal North Carolina. It is distinguished from the sympatric American crocodile by its broader snout, with overlapping jaws and darker coloration, and is less tolerant of saltwater but more tolerant of cooler climates than the American crocodile, which is found only in tropical climates. American alligators are apex predators and consume fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Hatchlings feed mostly on invertebrates. They play an important role as ecosystem engineers in wetland ecosystems through the creation of alligator holes, which provide both wet and dry habitats for other organisms. Throughout the year, in particular during the breeding season, American alligators bellow to declare territory and locate suitable mates. Male American alligators use infrasound to attract females. Eggs are laid in a nest of vegetation, sticks, leaves, and mud in a sheltered spot in or near the water. Young are born with yellow bands around their bodies and are protected by their mother for up to one year. The conservation status of the American alligator is listed as least concerned by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Historically, hunting had decimated their population, and the American alligator was listed as an endangered species by the Endangered Species Act of 1973. Subsequent conservation efforts have allowed their numbers to increase and the species was removed from endangered status in 1987. The species is the official state reptile of three states, Florida, Louisiana, and Mississippi. Characteristics. Domestic American alligators range from long and slender to short and robust, possibly in response to variations in factors such as growth rate, diet, and climate. Size. The American alligator is a relatively large species of crocodilian. On average, it is the second largest species in the family Alligatoridae, behind only the black caiman. Weight varies considerably depending on length, age, health, season, and available food sources. Similar to many other reptiles that range expansively into temperate zones, American alligators from the northern end of their range, such as southern Arkansas, Alabama, and northern North Carolina, tend to reach smaller sizes. Large adult American alligators tend to be relatively robust and bulky compared to other similar length crocodilians. For example, captive males measuring 3 to 4 meters were found to weigh 200 to 350 kilograms, although captive specimens may outweigh wild specimens due to lack of hunting behavior and other stressor. Relation to age. As with all crocodilians, and as opposed to many mammals where size eventually diminishes with old age, healthy American alligators may continue to grow throughout their lives and the oldest specimens are the largest. Very old, large male American alligators reach an expected maximum size up to 4.6 meters in length and weighing up to 453 kilograms, while females reach a maximum of 3 meters. On rare occasions, a large, old male may grow to an even greater length. Sexual dimorphism. While noticeable in very mature specimens, the sexual dimorphism in size of this species is relatively modest among crocodilians. In the saltwater crocodile, for example, the females are only slightly larger at average than female American alligators, but the mature males, at 4.3 to 5.2 meters typically, as opposed to 2.4 to 4 meters expected in mature male American alligators, are considerably bigger than male American alligators and at median are nearly twice as long as and at least four times as heavy as the female saltwater crocodiles of the same species. Given that female American alligators have relatively higher survival rates at an early age and a large percentage of given populations consists of immature or young breeding American alligators, relatively few large mature males of the expected mature length of 3.4 meters or more are typically seen. Color. Dorsally, adult American alligators may be olive, brown, gray, or black. However, they are on average one of the most darkly colored modern crocodilians, and can be reliably be distinguished by color via their more blackish dorsal scales against crocodiles. Meanwhile, their undersides are cream colored. Some American alligators are missing or have an inhibited gene for melanin, which makes them albino. 
these American alligators are extremely rare and almost impossible to find in the wild. They could only survive in captivity, as they are very vulnerable to the sun and predators. Jaws, teeth, and snout. The teeth number 74 to 80. As American alligators grow and develop, the morphology of their teeth and jaws change significantly. Juveniles have small, needle-like teeth that become much more robust and narrow snouts that become more broad as the individuals develop. These morphological changes correspond to shifts in the alligator's diets, from smaller prey items such as fish and insects to larger prey items such as turtles, birds, and other large vertebrates. American alligators have broad snouts, especially in captive individuals. When the jaws are closed, the edges of the upper jaws cover the lower teeth, which fit into the jaws hollows. Like the spectacled caiman, this species has a bony nasal ridge, though it is less prominent. Bite. Adult American alligators held the record as having the strongest laboratory measured bite of any living animal, measured at up to 13,172 n. This experiment had not been, at the time of the paper published, replicated in any other crocodilians, and the same laboratory was able to measure a greater bite force of 16,414 n in saltwater crocodiles. Notwithstanding this very high biting force, the muscles opening the American alligator's jaw are quite weak, and the jaws can be held closed by hand or tape when an American alligator is captured. No significant difference is noted between the bite forces of male and female American alligators of equal size. Movement. When on land, an American alligator moves either by sprawling or walking, the latter involving the reptile lifting its belly off the ground. The sprawling of American alligators and other crocodilians is not similar to that of salamanders and lizards, being similar to walking. Therefore, the two forms of land locomotion can be termed the low walk and the high walk. Unlike most other land vertebrates, American alligators increase their speed through the distal rather than proximal ends of their limbs. In the water, American alligators swim like fish, moving their pelvic regions and tails from side to side. During respiration, air flow is unidirectional, looping through the lungs during inhalation and exhalation. The American alligator's abdominal muscles can alter the position of the lungs within the torso, thus shifting the center of buoyancy, which allows the American alligator to dive, rise, and roll within the water. Thanks for watching.